But here's the crazy thing. Before we started, I placed one card right there. What card did you name? <laughs> that was the only card in that deck. That's the one I took out. Take a look. I don't want to touch it. They're all jokers. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. So let me see. They're, they're, they're all they're all jokers. What was the card that you wanted? Uh, four of diamonds. Four of diamonds. Remember, at the very beginning, I pulled one card out and I put it there. Mm -hmm. Turn it over. <laughs> the four of diamonds. <laughs> and there you go. Somehow you knew to name the card that I put there. You said the three of hearts. Take a look. That was the only card in the entire deck. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What? No. You can check everything. No. The only card in the deck. How did you do that? Pretty That's very cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you so much for being here. I'm Javier Fuenmayer and I'm incredibly excited to teach you my switch. It is a one for one card switch and it should go by completely unnoticed by your spectators. It is the very switch that I used in those performances that you just saw. And if you want to see the full uncut performances, I'm going to put them at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around if you want to see those. To do the switch, you're going to want to have your dummy card or your X card on top of anything. As long as you can pick it up in Biddle Grip, it doesn't matter what it is. What's important is that you're picking it up in Biddle Grip and your pinky is at the corner so that you can properly palm that card later. Next, you'll have your reveal card in Gambler's Cup. This is usually how I palm the card to perform this switch. Now, when the hands come together, you want to bring your index finger to the top front edge of the X card. Two things are going to happen at once. First, the card in Biddle Grip, the X card is going to snap its way into classic palm. Now the index finger from that cup card is going to be doing the job. Notice the tension on that card that the pinky and the thumb are creating. The thumb will be the release of that built up tension, but the card doesn't really go into perfect palm. So we're going to have to curl our index finger and then you'll see that it'll immediately go into that perfect palm. When we put both of those together, we can start to see that switch emerging. All you have to do is pretend the cup card came from that biddle grip as you bring it up. I really just skip the thumb and continue the movement to bring that card up so that it's vertical. Have your thumb go underneath the card that was in cup as if grabbing the card momentarily and then hand it back to your cup hand. When we put it together, it's going to look something like this. Now let's take a look at each hand individually. This is what the cup card hand is doing and this is what the biddle hand card is doing. Even though you have the X card in classic palm, you want to have all of your attention be on that other card and have the X card as naturally as you can. So how are we going to keep that hand natural? We're going to borrow the way that Di Vernon, the professor, used to practice. He would first do the actual switch and then he would do the switch without doing the switch or the motions of the switch without doing the switch. If we do the switch first is here and then we want to just do the same thing and see what happens when we don't. And notice how my hand just became relaxed here. So if I emulate that, if I come here and we show it, it should feel like that previous one. We then do the move and then we do not the move and we do this back and forth and we should get the move looking as natural as it can for us personally because we're doing exactly what we would normally do when we are relaxed and when we're being natural, when we're not doing anything. Once you're comfortable with the switch, we can start thinking of ways of hiding it just a little bit more if we so want to. One way in which I like to do it, when the action of rolling my sleeves, I do the switch. Another way is to leave that card in Gregory Wilson's pit stop as you do the switch. You can also check your watch if you don't have any sleeves and it can also be like maybe you're just a thoughtful dude that's just scratching your beard 
and you get your switch like that. Regardless, I'm sure you can come up with many different ways, and if you do, please let me know in the comments below. I like to pair this with DAX, the one pocket full card index that I'm working on with Lloyd Barnes. I love this so much, it has so many possibilities, but the reason why it's so good with this switch is because it delivers any card into COP in less than three seconds. So whatever card they name, that's how I'm able to get that card into COP so quickly, and then I can do that switch whenever I see the time is right. Make sure you check those live performances if you wanna see the switch in action. I'm also using DEX, just so you know, that's how I'm getting the spectator's named card. So what I do is I just have jokers. Because I have decks, that means I don't need to have a full deck or a deck in stack or a new deck order so that I can easily get to whichever card they want. I can actually switch that out and just have a deck that is full of jokers and then do the routine that you've seen or you will see. But regardless, if you have a deck in brand new deck order, or you know a stack like Mnemonica, you can just pretend to take the Joker out as you're asking them. If when they play cards, do you keep the Joker inside? Usually people are gonna say no. So you just pretend to take that Joker out. In reality, it can be the Joker, it doesn't matter. Since they will think that's the Joker, no attention at all or no vigilance will be on that card. So you're gonna have a lot of freedom when it comes to that switch. That's why we're kind of dismissing the card as we put it on top of whatever object you're choosing to put it. You have them name a card and because you have a pencil marked all the aces and sevens, let's say in your new deck order deck, you can easily find the card that they named call it to the bottom so that you can easily get it into cop. Now you can do the switch as you say something like, the jokers are my favorite because they pretty much always have a trick up their sleeves. Now imagine you do the switch as you say that, how good that's gonna feel. <laughs> Anyways, um, they always have a trick up their sleeves and the best part about them is that they are wild and they can be anything like the insert the spectator's card name here. <laughs> and that's your reveal. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, I'm Javier Fuenmayer. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post another video. And now let's watch some uncut live performances. And all right, real quick, do you do you guys play cards? Yeah, yeah a little bit of a... A little? A little bit of poker? Okay, now, do you keep the jokers in when you play poker? No, we take it out. Oh, okay, all right. All right, I mean, the thing is, I just love jokers, so I'm gonna, we'll place that right there. But, uh, who's better at shuffling? I don't, I suck at shuffling. I, I, I suck at shuffling too. Ah, okay, no worries. So here's what I'll do. I'll shuffle for you, you tell me exactly when you want me to stop. You tell them that. All right. So I will keep shuffling. I notice people say stop like so early, so I'm gonna let you keep going. Okay, no worries, man. You can take your time. I just wanna make sure you know that all these cards are really shuffled because as I shuffle, name any playing card, whichever one you want. Uh, three of clubs. Three of clubs. All right. So all right. you just tell I think me. That's good now. You don't want me to move any more cards, no, right? That's good. Take those in your hand. Like this? Yep, yeah, and this is what's gonna happen. You're going to go and deal down and stop anywhere you want. Wherever you stop, your card will be there. Really? Yeah. There. That's where you want to stop. Now, do you want to use this card or that card? It's completely up to you. <laughs> I'll follow my left side. You'll follow your left side. Take a look. Oh, wait, uh, wait, did you want to stop somewhere else? No, nah, this, is, this is where I wanted to stop. Uh, do me a favor, turn all those cards over. No. Because I told you I really like Joker. You can do them all at the same time. Yeah. I told you I like Jokers. Uh -huh. Turn them sick. all over, all at once, <laughs> and check it out. Look, every yeah. single card is a Joker. Now, you remember that you can make sure, look, those are all Jokers too. Look at that. Now, here's the crazy, somebody signed that, but here's the crazy thing. Before we started, I placed one card right there. What card did you name? Three of clubs. 
<laughs> that was the only card in that deck. That's the one I took out. Take a look. I don't want to touch it. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Thanks, man. Thanks. What? How is that even possible? Uh, you made it possible, man. If you would have named any other card, it wouldn't have worked. That's insane. <laughs> Can I show you something else? Yeah, sure. All right, let, let me, let, um, wh when you play poker, do you ever keep the jokers in the cards or do you take those out? You take them out? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, no worries, no worries. So I'm gonna take this, well, we, we don't need it then. Uh, do you mind shuffling them? Uh, if you don't know how, it's okay. You can even leave them like this. But what I want you to do is think of any playing card in the, in the deck. Think of and say it out loud. Which one would you like? The four. Which four? Uh, diamonds. The four of diamonds. That's the red diamonds. Okay. Now, what if I told you that when you deal the cards down onto the table here, one at a time, you can stop anywhere. The four of diamonds will be there. Check it out. And you stop anywhere you want. You think that's, that's it? Maybe. Take a look. Oh wait, no, that, wait, that that's, <laughs> that's the joker. Wait, that's weird. Um, here's, the, here's the thing, put it over there so that's not it, right? Uh, check the other ones. Yeah. What about the other ones? You can check all of them. Check all of them? Yeah. They're all jokers. Ah, okay, so let me see. They're, they're, all, they're all jokers. What was the card that you wanted? Four of diamonds. Remember at the very beginning, I pulled one card out and I put it there? Mm -hmm. Turn it over. <laughs> the four of diamonds. <laughs> and there you go. Do you now, do you keep the jokers in the deck or you take them no, out? No, no. No, do you mind if we do it here so this camera can get it, this camera can get it? And, oh, you said you don't use the jokers? Mm. Okay, so I will, I will take it out. Um, do you know how to shuffle? Okay, would you mind Can shuffling? I look and see if that's the Joker? It'll ruin the trick. Uh -huh. Let's try this. Uh, name any playing card. Uh, the three of hearts. The, um, that's the red heart, right? Oh, no, no. Can you take the cards? And then what you're going to do is deal cards on the table and stop anywhere you want. Deal just yeah, so one. one? Yeah. Oh, no, like on top of each other. And then. And here, why don't you hold on to this one? I don't want you to think something's up, but don't look at it yet. Keep it safe. There. Now, would you be impressed if that was the, what was the card you guys wanted? Three of hearts. The three of hearts. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's the joker. And look, and if we look here, these are jokers. These are jokers because I love jokers. Can I see those? Look, these are actually all jokers. The card I put here, somehow you knew to name the card that I put there. You said the three of hearts. Take a look. That was the only card in the entire deck. <laughs> Amazing. Thank what? you. What? Whoa. You can check everything. Whoa. The only card in the deck. How did you do that? I, I didn't do anything. You guys, you, she named the three of hearts. I don't know how she knew. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? That's very cool. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you so much. You're good. Oh, good. thanks. You're good. We're all around scratching our head all day. <laughs>